Hi everyone, hi Nick. Uh, this is a, another um, completed journal for the um, next journal release. Um, and like in the previous video, this was going to be fairly mostly silent because I just had another coughing fit. And uh, the more I talk, the more I'm going to cough. So um, just briefly, this is again the standard size. It's five and a half, eight and a half by five and a half with a two and a half inch spine. The cover is a hand painted. Sort of like this mauvey, it's not even, I guess mauve, I guess you could call it dusty pink. Yes, just distressed on the back. Under the spine is, um, this is a piece of lace. So the is embossed design. I, I got this idea from um, Zoe Tofield. I'm watching one of her videos. And she does this on the spine of hers. That was a really good idea. Different than the, the raised, the ridges. Um, it's sea mining and eyelet closure. On the cover is some cheesecloth. Um, this image that I stickled and stitched around. Um, this is a piece of antique lace that, um, from my stash. Um, this is a sorry silk, sorry silk bow for wooden corners that I inked. And a Tim Holtz um, pen nib that says, which you're not going to be able to see on camera, says notes. Three signatures. Um, lace, lots of lace, lots of sewing. This is very, this one's very feminine. There's um, a little bit of cheesecloth peeking out from the spine. Um, lots of lace. This is all either vintage or um, vintage antique lace. <clears throat> and let's just go inside. Um, this is using a um, kit from Artie Mays. It's a tea themed kit. I've had it for I've had it for a while. The front and back inside cover is uh, paper, paper stack tales of you and me. Oops. A little spritz from the from the eyelet punching. Um, which I thought went really well because this kit has lots of flowers and roses in it. So I'm going to just kind of go through fairly quietly and uh, carry. Oh, I also use some dreams, etc. in here too. The, um, what is it called? Collage Rose um, kit, which is a tea themed kit. If you look up, if you look up and you go tea time, you're going to get, um, or if you go tea, when you search uh, dreams, etc., you're going to get the um, Alice in Wonderland. So this is collaged rose. So Rita Flips. This is from a book of, um, I just got on Amazon from, um, it's a whole book of, you could use it as clip art or, or whatever, it's all Victorian um, fashion. It's all black and white like that. Fashion designs, it starts the um, very early pre-Civil War all the way through to, you know, post, um, post-bustle era. And this is a new book that I got also, um, it's an Edith Holden, it's Garden Notes, it's sort of like a perpetual calendar. Sewed around a lot of stuff. And these are, these are paper clipped over the top. This is these are dreams, etc. And I'm not going to take them all off because they're paid to film. But they're all empty. And then these are little tea bag holders, and there's tea bags in there. This little fabric fold out. This is a um, piece of antique cut work out of my stash, and then there's this piece of cotton crochet lace. This is from that antique Sears catalog. Um, and I used um, Peter Rabbit because I look at the end of the story that after his escapades and Farmer McGregor's garden, he got get he got to, he had to have tea for dinner instead of jam and biscuits. 
because he's been a naughty boy. Some side flips here that are stitched on. Let's see, my mirror's ephemera. And some die cuts. Blue book. And just hold in. It's the center they both flip out. Some of Renee's avocado dye paper. That's two holes. And that flips open. And I just punched some tabs out of the um, scraps from the cover. on the side so you can get something fairly big in there. This all comes off. Doily, everything comes off. And it's just an envelope that's empty, I think. No, nope, not empty.
whole machine ate the paper there. I really like this page. It's really pretty. side pocket. I found these gigantic paper clips on Amazon. So it's a perpetual calendar here. I got a whole bunch of them. Some colored ones, some of these metallic ones. just over there's tag in there and this is a tux pop as well One of the big file folders. Tsunami Rose, if I cut the tabs off of it. And that's it. Okay, this will be listed in the shop. If you're interested, you can pop on over there and check it out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will be back soon when I can talk and feel better. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye.